I mean, we're, we're living in an, in an infotainment society where we're told that reality television is uh, what kind of Pinot Grigio these rich ladies on the Upper East Side of New York are drinking and what kind of poodles they have and what kind of vacations they go on. And we hear almost nothing about the consequences of these wars that are waged under both Republicans and Democrats. Well, wh why is that? Well, part of it is because members of Congress are bought and sold by corporations. And part of it is because we have a media culture in this country uh, that defines reality television as the most absurd, unrealistic situations in life and totally ignores reality. So, you know, at a time when we have incredible media consolidation, when there's fewer and fewer media options, it's essential that we defend independent media. And in some way, all of us have to become journalists. There's a two-edged sword with Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all of that stuff. On the one hand, uh, we can convey a lot of information fast. On the other hand, um, you know, misinformation okay. can spread. So we need to have uh, a, a, a media culture that combines the best of old school journalism, muckraking, investigation, fact checking, with the energy of young social media journalists.